Hey, welcome to the first episode of James House Tales. How you like them apples? Uh, that 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 doesn't sound right. I apologize for that. Uh, or do what? Should, should I start over? No. Well, if you hold the cue cards right, maybe I'd be able to read something. How about that? But don't you take that tone with me. I really don't think it's appreciated. Oh right, yeah, yeah. Go, go ahead. Just, just leave. Just, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh man. Right, the camera's still on. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah. So, uh, don't pay attention to any of that. That was just nonsense. Uh, yeah, a bunch of people being stupid at my house. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's just the life in the day of me. But um, yeah. On this episode, we're gonna go and we're gonna talk about a specific issue. And uh, that issue is. Finding grapes on Thursday. Uh, fortunately, at uh, the local publics in my area, finding grapes on Thursday is something that's uh, impossible to do. So um, I've uh, I've uh, figured out ways to find a way to find out about finding grapes on Thursday. Uh, step one: go on Thursday. Step two. Await the man of grapes on Thursday. And step three, eat the grapes of delectableness and grapeness on Thursday after purchasing them. Because otherwise that would be stealing, which is illegal. Like stealing, which is illegal. Also, uh, People were asking me about what that whole thing was on the Bus Tales episode that I was trying to explain about uh, the brown car. There's this lady, right? If you go and watch James Bus Tales episode one, you'll hear it where I go, Oh, you see that brown car over there? Yeah, that lady and then the bus jumped into my face. That brown van thing. There's this lady who's there. I'll probably get her in Bus Tales episode four. Oh, wait, this is James Holmes Tales, so... It's not related to bus tales, except that it's just another tale that has James in it. But whatever, just just to answer that, because you guys watch all of my stuff, so you probably want to know this. All right, basically, this lady, what she does is every morning she comes out with like a giant Ziploc bag of popcorn. You know when you buy that gallon bag, the one that's supposed to hold like a thousand things, she gets like popcorn, fills it up with popcorn. And she takes this bag and she just starts, you know, kind of, and she spreads like the whole thing across like the floor, like, and you've seen it, it's like a street out there, so it's like, why are you throwing popcorn out there? It's because she likes to feed the crows. The crows. Now, I don't know, this is just me, but uh, I'm not into feeding crows. I'll feed birds, I guess. I have a bird feeder outside of my house. I don't put the seed in there or anything like that. That's, that's like what my parents do, I guess. But um, I don't I, I don't condone in feeding birds, especially crows, which are annoying as hell and are just going to wait for you every day. Because then, then that accumulates the seagulls, which will just start to appear out of nowhere, start crapping on people's cars and on people's shirts and things. Not me. If it be me, I'd start coming with BB guns and shooting up birds at freaking bells. But, you know, whatever. So she does that. But she started noticing that the seagulls started eating the popcorn. So she started taking another bag of popcorn and putting it behind bushes, which were behind where I was sitting when you see me in James Bus Tales. And I was like, why are you putting popcorn behind the bush? And she said, because the seagulls eat the crow's popcorn. And then I said, well, aren't the seagulls just going to eat the popcorn that you put behind the bush also? Because they're not stupid and they smell popcorn and they're going to eat popcorn. And... She said, oh. And I was like, yeah. And, um, I don't know. It's funny if you were actually able to see it, which is why as soon as I get the chance, I'm going to bring the camera up there on Monday. Today's Saturday, by the way. And it is, I'm looking at my clock over there. It is, it's 11.30. And that means that, um, it's almost time for me to watch certain shows. And, uh. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. 
you know, rice and beans, that kind of thing. You know what I'm trying to say? You know, chicken and rice. Speaking of rice, Z, you owe me a bag of rice. I'm not even going to discuss that on here. Shot, I shot you out like that, even though I kind of did. But you know what you owe me, so hook a nigga up. Other than that, um, if you know me, and you happen to catch me at any time, and you want me to do a random episode, you gotta let me know, because, I mean, there's only like three people out there right now who actually watch these that have told me, oh yeah, we need you to make another episode because you didn't explain something like that. Like, y'all gotta be more, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? You you guys have to be able to explain things more to me like this, because, you know, you want me to get on a topic, you want me to say something, throw it up in one of my blogs on like MySpace, or, you know, when you see me in person, say... Hey, James, why the hell don't you talk about the Kibo Elf or something like that? Because, you know, I'll, I'll do that. Whatever. You know, I'm bored. I'll do things. Not that kind of stuff. Nasty. Just just random stuff. But, um, you know, you know how I am. You know how I do. You know how I roll. Like I said before, you know, rice and beans. You know what I'm saying? So, it's whatever it is. And then some. Plus two. Minus four. So, what's that, like negative two? Something like that. Uh, just, I know there was this one top. Oh, oh, oh. definite must see. I don't care if you're like, oh, this is for cute little kids. Monsters vs. Aliens was like the best movie that I have seen ever. It was like freaking awesome. And then the fact that I saw it in 3D just made it orgasmic. So I was just in the theater, like, you know, like soaked from like my hips down to my ankles filled up my socks and shoes and I was just like man I thought that was you know like somebody who had left like popcorn and soda spilled on the floor before me but that stick was my own stick and I was like damn so that's how good the movie is you get the chance to see it go ahead and see it stop crying to me about Watchmen and then I need to go watch it I'll watch it when it's time to watch Watchmen you like I did that whatever shut up what I do need to tell you about other than that is another definite must see if you have not seen it is uh what the hell was it? Quantum of Solace, which was James Bond. Caught that also. Caught that on Friday. And uh, it just blew me away. Start, you know. So if you're a James Bond fan, go catch that. If you uh, weren't really sure about Monster vs. Aliens because you thought it was going to be Kitty, this knocks all that Kitty crap out the water. It's not Shrek 3. It's not a bag of garbage. And um, you, you ain't got to worry about all that nonsense. Uh, let me think. It's gotta be something else. Something else. Uh, I, I, pr- I probably won't figure it out until after I turn the camera off. So I don't know. What has it been? It's been like eight minutes and change already. Y'all probably bored of hearing me talk all this nonsense. So I'll just talk to y'all some other time. There'll be an episode, you know, coming up, like I said, on Monday. So that's two days from now. Maybe I'll do another one Sunday. Who knows? I'm random like that. So, uh,. Before I go, I figure out, like always, I'll give you something random to think about. So, check this. If a green paper is dropped from the sky in the middle of the week, what day would it be on? Why would it be dropped in the first place? And would it be crumpled? And if it is crumpled, and it lands on top of somebody, what speed would it be? And in what direction was the wind, latitude, longitude directed? Because if you can figure that out for me, I'll be able to make a billboard. I, I'm, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna go through with it. Just a little. The, I'm not even gonna let you know about the whole plan yet. Just you get that information to me. You post it up somewhere and you let me know. All right. So you know this is always was brought to you by Smiley Corp. I don't have a flyer today. Not advertising. I apologize. If we can't make you smile, you're not worth our while. And then some. So uh, heading out. Check you out in the next episode. Peace. Hello, Kuja. Cool